This video is sponsored by Yahoo. Yahoo is a professional online learning platform that helps anyone to perfect and hone their digital artistic skill. Now, if you want to learn anything that has to do with character creation, rigging, animation, and all that, you would definitely find a course that is dedicated to that right here. Now, the beautiful thing about it is presently there is the Dwarf Warrior course, which is actually impressive. So if you want to learn step by step from beginners all the way to advanced of how you can create a 3D character for game with professional looks and also professional development all through the period of your workflow, this is the best course for you to actually take a look at. With 60 hours of detailed course which actually cuts across ZBrush, Maya, Substance Painter, Mari and finally Unreal Engine, you would learn from beginning to end everything that you need for basic modeling, sculpting, retopology, texturing, hair creation for games and finally lighting and rendering for the Unreal Engine. Now if you are very excited to learn any of these things, there's going to be a link in the description which will offer you several coupons that you can use to make purchases. So simply take a look down in the description for you to take advantage of these coupons and actually start learning. And if you want to learn something amazing and actually create more stuff and hone your craft, go yihoo hey what's up guys and welcome back to ask nk this is going to be a very quick one as it's one of the questions that has been asked about maya in the comment section and this is in relationship with light specularities diffuse and also how you can link lights in Maya. So the whole idea about this video is just to simply show you how this things can be done as you can actually carry around this particular idea across different 3D apps of choice. So the very first thing which we're doing is we're taking a look at the scene here and right here we have this very nice Volvo. Now this in itself is a model that we actually got from a plugin and the plugin is known as traffic and with this you can have as much nice cars as you want and you can also get some other cooler stuff right here so this is the model which we're working with and if you want to take a look at how and you know how this works and where you can get it i'm going to put a link in the description so that you can find this out so we got that directly here and we're going to simply use this as our test object so from here what we want to do as well is we want to fire up the arnold render setting and switch this to gpu and so the reason why we're using the gpu is so that we can get faster response while we render so right here you would notice i'd actually gonna head to set up our scene so we have this beautiful scene right here and we set this scene up just so that we can be able to you know get this thing really quick we have a very good background here we have a car we have one light we have another light which is coming from the back right here and then we have one more light and i've actually gonna have to set a camera here which i would switch to so let's switch to that camera right so we have that camera right there so with this light if i simply select it you would notice that we have the exposure set to one and the intensity set to 25. Now, if you want to only drive specularity, how you can do this is by simply scrolling all the way down and reducing the diffuse and you only have the specularity right here. So it doesn't matter how much stuff you punch in, the specularity is only what you'll be able to get. And this happens across the board. So whether it's volumes you're trying to work on or stuff like that, you're only going to have those things contributing from here. So this is where you get to make those changes. So if for example, we come over here and change this to something like blue, scroll all the way down and you know, bring this all the way, you would notice that we're only having that blue around the spec. Another good example is by selecting what we have from here. So we have this beautiful, you know, light right here. And what I would like to do as well is to also use this to show. So for this now, if I go ahead and make changes, let's say I change this to something like red, for example, and scroll all the way down, you can see it's affecting both the diffuse and also the spec. If I go through and turn down the spec, you can see it's only affecting the diffuse. If I turn this all the way up and also turn this down, you would see it's only you know the specularity that is affecting so if this is you know a question and maybe if it's something that you're looking for this is exactly how you can actually play with it so you can use this to make some manipulations play with some stuff get some stuff up and running and in this way it is going to be even way easier for you to play and also change how your lighting in your scene would look like so the next thing which we want to talk about is linking so if you want to link light so for example we have this you know cool scene here and we have this part and for this part let's say we want the light to be around there i'm just simply going to grab this light and make a duplicate copy let's switch to arnold all right and make a duplicate copy hold down shift and drag 
and I'm just simply going to select this and also rotate and just going to rotate this real quick. So by simply doing that, you would also notice that we are having the light here and maybe we don't want the light on the floor. Now, for some reason, I don't know why you wouldn't want that, but just in case you don't want the light on the floor or you just want the light to affect just one particular part of your model, there are ways that you can actually use to get this thing working. So what I'm going to do next is just to simply show you guys how this can be done. So I'm also going to just, you know, tilt this a little bit down, scroll all the way up and maybe just reduce this a little bit. Or maybe we can just fire this all the way up and maybe make changes and set this to, to red as well. But we don't want this red to be on the floor. So how we can do this is by simply going over to the window section, go over to the relationship, and then we can do the light link. Now within the light linking, we can choose to link this light either by light centric or object centric. Another way you can do this is by simply going over to the rendering section. And then from the rendering section, you can go to lighting and rendering. And from there, you can go to the light linking editor and make changes. Either ways, this works fine. So within the light uh, centric, I'm just simply going to click this, bring this from the other screen right here. And you would notice we have this called area light shape 4. If I simply click on the area light shape 4, you can notice that it is actually affecting everything that we have in our scene. So the moment I start, you know, on checking this, you would start noticing that it is actually not doing any of the things that we want it to do. The whole idea about this is once you uncheck all of this, it is not supposed to affect them by any means. All right. You can simply choose to work this way. So for this now, if I simply go ahead and uncheck all of this and just simply say, I would like this to only affect this car, you would notice we're not getting that feedback. Now, the reason why we're not getting the feedback is because we're working with a GPU. All right, so for an old GPU, if this is what you're facing, and maybe that's the reason why you're asking the question, this is the main reason why this is happening. So if you wanna get that feedback, you would need to switch from here to CPU, all right? So the minute you switch to CPU, you can see that automatically you're linking this light and it's only affecting the car and it's not affecting the floor. All right. The next thing is, uh, you know, in the same light. Now, in the same light, in the sense that if you also want, so I'm just going to stop that since we're using the CPU now. So, if you also want to link the light and you want the lights to show on the object, or let's say show on the background and not on the object, we can also have exactly the same thing. So, the next thing which I'm going to do is just make another copy. So, I'm just going to do that right here. And let's say for this copy right now, I would switch from here and change it from quad to disc. Now, if I make this a disc and then rotate this to a point like that and fire this off. So I'm just going to also make sure I have this fired up. So I'm just going to fire this right here. Okay. So you can also notice that we have that red bouncing on the wall. Now, if we want this, so I'm just going to set this to white so we can have that white stuff there. So if we want this not to affect any other thing except the wall, we'll go over to this part where we have, you know, the area light set to five and you would notice automatically this actually just uh, you know just does this automatically so for some reason this is just simply i mean the the plane number one the plane one simply just unchecks itself so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we uncheck every other thing you can either use this mode or you can simply switch from here and switch to the object centric light linking so once we do that i can select the light i can select the object itself and say i would want this object not to be influenced by setting stuff and only by setting stuff. So for this now, I can simply go like one, two, three. I don't want these things to influence this object. So I'm just going to play back and you notice it doesn't influence the object. If I go back and say one, two, and three, every other thing affects the object except light number four. All right. So depending on what you want to achieve at the end of the day, you can proceed to start achieving these things by using this particular technique for the car as well. I wouldn't want these particular lights, which is light number five to affect the car. And you can start noticing that there. So with this now, I can have this object selected and I can fire this all the way to about a hundred and just have the background lit and have this other one there. But you know, it looks pretty odd. So we're just gonna set this to 30. So we can just simply set this to 30 or maybe just turn this down to something else. So maybe set it to 25, change the color to something else. Mm, we can make this 
yeah something like that so with this you can simply control certain stuff and also have you know some pretty cool renders at the end of the day so this is you know basically how you can play with the lights and how you can tweak these things to actually suit what you want to do so for scenes like interior scenes where you want lights to be focused on certain parts or maybe scenes where you want the lamp to actually focus on certain objects or maybe you're just trying to light one particular stuff in your scene and you don't want the specularity to get affected or you don't want to have the diffuse to get affected or you just want one particular object to only be affected by light this is basically how you can go about it so I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you found this helpful you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until I see you guys again with a tutorial update free Friday tutorial Tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace